this video, we'll learn about working with adaptive video in Adobe Dynamic Media Classic. Adobe Dynamic Media Classic offers many solutions for working with video and delivering first-class experiences to your customers, whether they are on Mac, PC, desktop, laptop, mobile, phone, or tablet. Adobe Dynamic Media Classic supports the most popular and recognized video file formats, codecs, and delivery protocols available on the market today. With adaptive video, you upload a master video to Adobe Dynamic Media using an adaptive video encoding profile. During video playback, the player will automatically provide the best video experience based on the internet connection speed of your customers. Let's talk about uploading and encoding videos. There are numerous video file formats and Adobe Dynamic Media Classic supports many of them. MP4 encoding is a preferred video file format for use with Adobe Dynamic Media Classic. MP4 is the most popular and well-supported video format currently used today. With Adobe Dynamic Media Classic, you can upload master videos in MP4 format or any other supported format. You can upload videos that have been pre-encoded and ready for use, or you can upload master videos and have them automatically encoded for you using presets to create adaptive video sets. When it comes to delivering on-demand video, Adobe Dynamic Media Classic supports the most performant and popular streaming technology known as HLS, as well as some other less commonly used protocols such as dynamic streaming for desktops and progressive streaming for Windows devices. HLS technology is reliable and capable of dynamically adapting to network conditions by optimizing playback for the available speed of network connections. Let's discuss adaptive video workflow. The basic steps include video preparation, configuration and selection of adaptive video presets and uploading of master videos, and delivery of video to desktops and mobile devices and more. When preparing videos, you will need to make sure that you start with the highest quality video possible and that it is saved in a supported video file format. Preferably, use MP4 video format. You'll also want to be sure that the aspect ratio and minimum bit rates correspond with the resolution of your video. Adobe has help material that can help guide you with the creation of your master videos. Before you begin uploading videos to Adobe Dynamic Media Classic, you will want to be sure to activate the adaptive video presets you will be using. After logging into Adobe Dynamic Media Classic, Go to Application Setup to review the available presets. The active presets are checked. In case you are interested in creating your own presets, you can also review the single encoding presets that are available here and add your own if needed. Now let's upload some videos. After clicking on the Upload button, we will navigate to my Videos folder and select the videos I wish to upload and then click Open. Now click Job Options in the lower right and be sure to select the adaptive video options you wish to use for these videos. The available presets are the ones that we observed in the application setup previously. After you have selected the adaptive video sets you wish to use, click Save. In this case, I have selected the set called Adaptive Video Encoding 16.9 or 4.3. I will expect Adobe Dynamic Media to encode my uploaded videos according to the specifications defined in this set. Once you have completed the options setup, click the Submit Upload button. While the encoding job is in progress, you will see the activity indicator spinning. You can check the progress of your job by clicking on the Jobs button. Here I can see that my job is currently loading. Once my job is complete and encoding has completed, I will be able to review and deploy my videos. Here I can see that my master videos have been uploaded and that for each one an adaptive video set has been created. 
I can look at the contents of my video set and observe that three different videos were created from my master video. Each has separate dimensions and corresponding bit rates. I can then click on the preview button to play the video in the HTML5 video viewer. After I have confirmed my video is functioning as expected, we are ready to deploy our videos to websites or other devices. Click on the embed code or copy URL buttons to get the data needed to deploy your video to a website or view in a browser or mobile device. Your users will experience the best possible video experience dynamically adjusted according to their network conditions. This is the power of adaptive video sets.